In a world where conflicts are as complex as they are frequent, a shadowy industry thrives, often unnoticed and rarely discussed. Welcome to the realm of private military companies, or PMCs. These entities, operating at the fringes of traditional warfare, have become a staple in global conflicts, yet their presence raises as many questions as it answers. From the deserts of the Middle East to the dense jungles of Africa, PMCs have been there, silently shaping outcomes and influencing international affairs. But who are they? What rules govern them? And where do they fit in the complex puzzle of modern warfare? Their roots can be traced back to the mercenaries of old, but today's PMCs are a different breed. They are corporate entities offering military services for a price. Their rise has been silent but significant, altering the very nature of how wars are fought and who fights them. As we embark on this journey to uncover the hidden world of private military companies, we'll delve into their history, their operations, and the controversies that surround them. We'll explore the ethical dilemmas they present and the legal vacuum in which they often operate. Join us as we peel back the layers of this clandestine industry in The Rise of Private Military Companies. A story of power, profit, and the privatization of force in a world where war is a business like any other. All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. Understanding Private Military Companies Definition and History As we delve into the world of private military companies, or PMCs, it's crucial to understand what exactly these entities are and how they've come to play a pivotal role in modern warfare. PMCs are not a new phenomenon, but their role and influence have evolved significantly over time. Private military companies are legally established firms that offer a range of military and security services. These services can include tactical combat operations, strategic planning, intelligence gathering, and logistical support, among others. Unlike traditional mercenaries, PMCs operate as corporate entities, often registered and headquartered in countries with strong legal frameworks. The concept of selling military expertise is as old as war itself. In ancient times, mercenaries were common, fighting for whoever paid them the most. However, the PMCs of today are a far cry from the mercenaries of the past. They are sophisticated, organized, and often part of a larger corporate structure with a global presence. The modern PMC emerged prominently during the late 20th century. Conflicts like those in the Balkans, Iraq, and Afghanistan saw a significant increase in the use of these companies. Governments, particularly those of the United States and the United Kingdom, began outsourcing various military tasks to PMCs, citing cost-effectiveness, expertise, and flexibility as key reasons. Today, PMCs are a multi-billion dollar industry with their operatives active in conflict zones across the globe. They work for governments, international organizations, and even private entities, offering a wide range of services from combat operations to training and advisory roles. As we continue to explore the rise of private military companies, it's important to remember that their existence and operations are not just a matter of military strategy, but also of international law, ethics, and the changing nature of global conflict. The Rise of PMCs, Factors and Drivers As we delve deeper into the world of private military companies, it's essential to understand the driving forces behind their meteoric rise. What has propelled these entities from the shadows of military operations into prominent players on the global stage? The rise of PMCs is closely tied to several key factors. First and foremost is the shift in global military strategy. Since the end of the Cold War, there's been a significant move towards privatization in many sectors, including defense. Governments looking to reduce costs and avoid the political risks of military casualties began outsourcing certain military functions to private companies. Another critical factor is the nature of modern conflicts. 
As wars became more asymmetric and unconventional, the demand for specialized skills that many PMCs offer increased. These companies provide highly trained personnel capable of navigating the complexities of modern warfare, from counterinsurgency operations to cyber warfare. Technological advancements have also played a role. The modern battlefield requires a level of technical expertise often found in the private sector. PMCs have filled this gap, offering cutting-edge technology and expertise in areas like surveillance, drone operations, and cybersecurity. Furthermore, the global proliferation of conflicts, particularly in regions rich in natural resources, has led to an increased demand for private military services. Corporations and even non-governmental organizations operating in these areas often rely on PMCs for security and logistical support. Lastly, the legal and regulatory vacuum in which PMCs operate has facilitated their growth. The lack of a comprehensive international framework governing their activities allows these companies to operate in a gray area often beyond the reach of traditional military accountability mechanisms. With these factors driving their expansion, private military companies have become a fixture in global conflicts. But as their influence grows, so do the questions about their role, accountability, and the implications for international security, major PMCs and their global operations. In this segment, we turn our focus to some of the major players in the world of private military companies. These firms are not just participants in global conflicts, they are influential actors shaping the outcomes of wars and political landscapes. Let's start with one of the most well-known PMCs, Academi, formerly known as Blackwater. Founded in the United States, Blackwater gained notoriety for its operations in Iraq and Afghanistan. Its contractors were involved in various military and security operations, some of which, like the 2007 Nisor Square Massacre, sparked international controversy and debate over the use of private forces. Another significant player is the Wagner Group, often associated with Russia. Wagner's operations extend beyond traditional military roles, involving themselves in geopolitical struggles in places like Syria, Libya, and parts of Africa. Their activities, often shrouded in secrecy, raise questions about the intersection of national interests and private military agendas. Across the globe, PMCs like G4S, DINCORP, and Aegis Defense Services play pivotal roles in various conflicts. These companies offer a range of services, from logistical support to direct combat roles, and operate in numerous conflict zones, often under contracts with governments or international organizations. These companies' global operations demonstrate the vast reach of PMCs in contemporary warfare. They operate in the shadows of official military forces, often taking on tasks deemed too risky or politically sensitive for regular troops. The influence of these PMCs extends beyond the battlefield. They are involved in training national armies, providing security for critical infrastructure, and even engaging in intelligence operations. Their role in shaping security policies and military strategies of nations cannot be understated. As we explore the operations of these major PMCs, we must ask ourselves, what is the impact of outsourcing military power to private entities? And how does this shape the future of global conflict and international relations? Legal and Ethical Implications As private military companies continue to expand their role in global conflicts, they bring with them a host of legal and ethical challenges. In this segment, we delve into the complex world of laws and ethics surrounding PMCs and the dilemmas they present. First, let's tackle the legal aspect. PMCs operate in a murky legal space. International law, as it stands, primarily addresses states and their armed forces, leaving a gray area when it comes to private military contractors. This ambiguity raises critical questions about accountability and jurisdiction. For instance, 
When PMC personnel commit crimes or human rights violations, determining jurisdiction can be complex. Are they subject to the laws of the country they're operating in, their home country, or international law? This uncertainty often leads to legal loopholes and challenges in bringing offenders to justice. Ethically, the use of PMCs is equally contentious. The privatization of military force raises fundamental questions about the nature of warfare. When profit becomes a driving force in military operations, it can conflict with the traditional military ethos of service and national duty. Moreover, the employment of PMCs can blur the lines of accountability in warfare. Unlike state military forces, PMCs are not subject to the same level of public oversight and democratic control. This lack of transparency can lead to abuses and a diminished sense of responsibility for actions taken in conflict zones. Another ethical concern is the potential for PMCs to exacerbate conflicts. By providing military capabilities to the highest bidder, PMCs can prolong wars, destabilize regions, and contribute to a cycle of violence, especially in resource-rich or strategically important areas. As we grapple with these legal and ethical challenges, it becomes clear that the rise of PMCs is not just a military or security issue, but a matter of international concern, touching upon the very principles of justice, accountability, and the conduct of war. PMCs in Conflict Zones – Case Studies In this segment, we'll examine some specific case studies where private military companies have played a significant role. These examples will shed light on the real-world impact of PMCs in conflict zones and the controversies surrounding their involvement. Let's start with Iraq. Following the 2003 invasion, Iraq became a hotspot for PMC activity. Companies like Blackwater were contracted for a range of services, from personal security details to participating in combat operations. The 2007 Nisour Square shooting where Blackwater contractors killed 17 Iraqi civilians, sparked international outrage, and raised serious questions about PMC accountability and rules of engagement. Moving to Africa, PMCs have been involved in numerous conflicts across the continent. In Nigeria, companies like Executive Outcomes played a crucial role in combating rebel groups and securing key oil installations. Their effectiveness in these roles brought attention to the potential of PMCs in counterinsurgency operations, but also to the ethical implications of their involvement in internal conflicts. In recent years, the Syrian civil war has seen the involvement of the Russian-affiliated Wagner Group. Wagner's operations in support of the Syrian government have included combat roles and securing strategic locations. Their presence in Syria highlights the growing trend of state-affiliated PMCs being used as tools of foreign policy. Another notable example is Afghanistan. After the U.S.-led invasion in 2001, PMCs were extensively used for security, training Afghan forces, and intelligence operations. The reliance on PMCs in Afghanistan demonstrated their integral role in modern military strategy, but also the challenges in oversight and coordination with traditional military forces. These case studies illustrate the diverse roles PMCs play in global conflicts. From frontline combat to strategic support, their involvement is a testament to their growing influence in international affairs. However, each case also underscores the complexities and controversies that come with outsourcing military power. As we reflect on these examples, it becomes evident that the use of PMCs in conflict zones is a double-edged sword. It brings capabilities and flexibility to military operations, but also raises profound questions about the nature of warfare, sovereignty, and the rules that govern combat. The Future of Warfare with PMCs As we turn our gaze to the future, it's clear that private military companies will continue to play a significant role in global conflicts. But what does this mean for the future of warfare? How will the increasing reliance on PMCs shape military strategies, international law, 
and the nature of conflict itself? The trend towards privatization in military operations is unlikely to reverse. As technology advances and conflicts become more asymmetric, the demand for the specialized skills and capabilities offered by PMCs is expected to grow. This could lead to an even greater reliance on these private entities in future conflicts. However, this shift is not without its challenges. The increasing use of PMCs raises critical questions about state control over military power. As private entities driven by profit, PMCs operate under different motivations than traditional state militaries, potentially leading to conflicts of interest and ethical dilemmas. One potential future scenario is the formalization and regulation of the PMC industry. This could involve international treaties and laws specifically designed to govern the operations of PMCs, ensuring greater accountability and oversight. Such measures could help mitigate some of the risks associated with privatizing military force. Another aspect to consider is the impact of PMCs on global security dynamics. As PMCs become more prevalent, they could alter the balance of power in certain regions, influence the outcomes of conflicts, and even affect international relations. The role of PMCs as tools of foreign policy, particularly by major powers, is an area of growing concern. Furthermore, the evolution of technology, especially in areas like cyber warfare and unmanned systems, could see PMCs at the forefront of new types of conflict. The privatization of these advanced military capabilities could have far-reaching implications for warfare and global security. As we look ahead, it's clear that the world must grapple with the realities of this new era of privatized warfare. The decisions made today about how to manage and regulate PMCs will shape the nature of international conflict for years to come. In a world where war is increasingly outsourced, the lines between private interest and public good, profit and duty become blurred. The future of warfare with PMCs is not just a question of military strategy, but of our values and principles as a global community. Conclusion As we conclude our exploration into the world of private military companies, it's clear that the rise of PMCs represents a significant shift in the landscape of modern warfare. These entities, operating at the intersection of business and combat, have redefined the rules of engagement and brought new complexities to international conflict. We've seen how PMCs have evolved from the mercenaries of old to sophisticated corporate entities deeply embedded in the fabric of global military operations. Their role is range from frontline combat to strategic support, influencing outcomes in conflict zones across the world. Yet, with their rise come profound challenges. The legal and ethical implications of outsourcing military force raise critical questions about accountability, sovereignty, and the nature of warfare itself. As we've discussed, the current legal framework struggles to keep pace with the realities of privatized military power. The case studies we examined highlight both the effectiveness and the controversies surrounding PMCs. From Iraq to Africa, Syria to Afghanistan, their involvement has had significant impacts, often sparking debate and concern over their actions and the lack of transparent oversight. Looking to the future, the role of PMCs in warfare is poised to grow. This growth presents opportunities for enhanced military capabilities and flexibility, but also risks exacerbating ethical dilemmas, legal voids, and challenges to international security. As we grapple with these issues, it becomes evident that a collective global effort is needed to address the rise of PMCs. This includes establishing clear legal frameworks ensuring accountability, and debating the ethical implications of privatized military force. In a world where the lines between war and business are increasingly blurred, understanding and addressing the role of private military companies is not just a matter of military strategy, but a pressing concern for global peace 
security, and justice. As we reach the end of our journey through the intricate world of private military companies, we invite you, our viewers, to join the conversation. Your voice, your perspective, is crucial in shaping the discourse around this complex and often overlooked aspect of modern warfare. If this video has opened your eyes, sparked your curiosity, or raised questions, we encourage you to share your thoughts. Comment below, engage in discussions, and share this video with others. Every share, every conversation, contributes to a broader understanding and awareness of these critical issues. And if you're passionate about uncovering the truths behind the headlines, about delving deep into the realms of geopolitics, warfare, and global events, then Geoland is the place for you. Here at Geoland, we are committed to bringing you exclusive content that goes beyond the surface, content that seeks to reveal the truth in its rawest form. Our mission is to enlighten and inform, to challenge the status quo, and to offer perspectives that are often left unheard. But to continue this mission, we need your support. By subscribing to our channel, you become part of a community that values truth, depth, and critical thinking. Remember, Geoland is more than just a channel. It's a movement towards informed and conscious viewership. We choose to remain anonymous, not to hide, but to speak truths without bias or influence. Every view, every like, every share helps us grow and enables us to bring you even more insightful content. So, join us on this journey of discovery and understanding. Be a part of Geoland, where every piece of knowledge shared is a step towards a more informed and connected world. Subscribe, share, and be the change you wish to see.